Nicola Sturgeon and the SNP don't care whether independence makes Scots worse off, ignoring the vast majority of Scotland, a Tory councillor has told Express.co.uk. The First Minister has flip-flopped between arguments over who will foot the bill for pensions if Scotland were to leave the UK, and which currency would unpin the likes of Scottish interest rates. Tony Miklinski, Scottish Conservative Councillor for Cooper, Fife, has denounced the lack of clarity on economic and social policies post-independence, which some predictions say spell hardship for Scots. Mr. Miklinski told Express.co.uk, now, of course, the loyal nationalists say, we don't care how poor it makes us. We don't care how high our interest rates are, how high our mortgages are, or how low our pensions are. We don't care. We want an independent Scotland. Well, that's the case for a small percentage of people. The vast majority of Scots just want to get on with their lives, safe and secure, able to work, able to get a decent wage and enjoy their lives. The issue of pensions has become contentious in the independence debate, with Mr. Miklinski railed against Ms. Sturgeon's suggestions that an independent Scotland would continue to be part of a UK-wide pension scheme, calling the idea absolute nonsense, he said, which foreign country pays the pensions of a neighbouring foreign country? It doesn't exist. It's absolute nonsense. It's an attempt to throw into the mix more confusing information to allow them to say something that their faithful will follow. Ms Sturgeon claimed in early February that UK taxpayers would continue to fund Scottish pensions post-independence, before conceding this would be unlikely. Kate Forbes, the SNP Finance Secretary, stated the UK would pay the pensions of Scottish OAPs in a post-independence country, adding the system would be unaffected after a yes vote. Calling SNP's Westminster boss Ian Blackford the expert on all things pension, she pointed to his comments that commitment to continue to pay pensions rests with the UK government.